Welcome to homicide housing, killer hell with shit is real Where robberies turn homicides to get a meal The young niggas that's on the grind is gripping still Living by the one rule of the hood, killer be killed Killer hell really played those rocks Like fresh on the corner really take those However, Effie's was one that would have a devastating effect for decades. Effie came from Liberia and was living with a pastor and his wife to help their as a family member, I don't know specifically what her connection was to the family, if she was an extended family member or she just lived with them. Her mother brought Effie to us to live. She was a charming young lady, soft-spoken, extremely respectful, very loving, very caring, big bright eyes, thick curly hair, Oh my God, I remember Effie. Effie was someone who, you know, you could get a smile from if you just passed by her. And it was somebody who, it was someone who could brighten your day. But sad to say that um, she got killed. Um, and what led up to that, my understanding or my recollection of what happened during that time is that Effie was a, a good girl who fell in love with a Nigerian cab driver. And supposedly, he was a known drug dealer on Staten Island, and she fell for him. Um, very good looking guy. She, that was her first, actual first love, I believe, because he did nothing wrong in her eyes. And I remember her telling me that she was gonna move in with him into his house he bought. I believe he became a drug dealer because during that time in the 80s, there was this drug epidemic. There was a lot of money being made there. And as a cab driver, I could honestly see him maybe dropping off somebody who went to drop drugs and pick up lump sum of money and the money became enticing to him. And so he decided he could do it and, and decided to go into that kind of business. He remained a cab driver, but I guess he did his own drug deals on the side. So he did a drug deal that went bad. Apparently someone brought some drugs for him and the drug was bad. Anyway, the drug was a bad drug, was, was not the quality, I guess, that they pay for. And I understand they pay a large sum of money for this. And so when they realized that it wasn't the quality that they were looking for, they demanded their money back. And he went out looking for the people that he bought this drug from, being a middleman, and really couldn't come up with the money or retrieve the money. As a result, the drug dealers that bought the drugs came to the home looking for him. That Friday, Effie and I, we came from school, she went up to braid her hair. So I went by my house to braid her hair. I braided her hair and everything. And then she started telling me some things about she felt something was gonna happen to her. And she was afraid. And I'm like, you know, afraid of why? She said, well, a couple of days, no, a couple of weeks ago, two guys followed her, her boyfriend, had taken her to her sister's house to pick up some clothes to go with him. And when she went upstairs, they, when she got up the stairs, trying to open the door, the two guys put a gun to her head. They raped her sister Mimi in the apartment. And they raped Mimi. Effie didn't rape her, but in her graduation picture she had on the wall, they took it off the wall in the living room. And they said, we got this picture. If Habi don't comply, we're gonna come after him, and we're gonna come after you. My understanding is that they pick him up from Tarji Street, where we call the base. They pick him up. Apparently, I don't know whether he was telling them, I'll go and find the drug, I'll go and get the person, or I know where the person is, let's go to the person. And they pick him up from there and took him to the Bronx. Um, reading the newspaper, I believe they found his body. I'm not sure it was the Bronx, Cross the BQ, Bronx the Cross Bronx Expressway, when he couldn't, you know, deliver this person who ha obviously had the money for the drugs. He got killed, and I understand he got stabbed multiple times. At the same time, I don't know whether they had groups of people divided, one with him and one that went to the house to search the house and see if he had money or drugs there, but the ones that went to the house met Effie there along with one of his friends, and both of them got killed.
if he was strangled from what we see in the body was like people said she was raped. If she was not raped. There was another body in a house, because we all went running, you know, people were nosy, wanted to see what was really going on. There was a body laying on the basement stairs. Her, because we were going to our senior prom that same month. So the uh because Habi was an older guy, so she had this male friend of Habi that came from Maryland to go with her to the senior prom. And the guy apparently he was in the apartment when the people walk in, but it looked like he was shot from the back, running down the basement stairs, because his body was laid flat on his face from the basement stairs. And everybody was laying in the living room. She had, like, she came from taking a shower. She had, like, towel tied around her. How we found Effie, everybody was laying in the living room. According to the papers, Effie was found um, hog-tied, and she was shot in the groin. Tying somebody or bounding them, the hand to their leg, and then shooting them in the groin, which is between the leg. That is the worst thing you could do to anybody. I don't know who they were trying to send a message to, or what kind of a message they were, they were trying to send, but it definitely was something that shook the Liberian community. He was one of their beloved daughters, you know, brutally killed only because she was, she fell in love. That was the shock to the community. That was a blow to me. It's something that I still deal with, even today. So I was forced to grow up, you know, learn from there, to choose the kind of friend you want to be with. Be careful with who you were hanging out with because Effie was one of the quiet person among us. She was not even one, she was a quiet person of all of us. Effie especially did not deserve to die. I don't think anybody deserved to die, but Effie especially in this deal did not deserve to die. There are some who believe that Effie was several months pregnant when she was killed. The things we do, the things we do, the things we do, the things we do. I've heard gunshots before. It was my first time actually seeing somebody die.